Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to Backpack Hero, the Backpack Management Strategy Game. I'm here in Endless Mode with probably one of my most scalable builds ever. This is a multifaceted build that just has a bunch of fun stuff going for it. The crown jewel of this build is the insane block synergy I have. So I have this sword that whenever it's used, all adjacent shields get plus one block for the rest of the combat. And I have this one shield that when I use it, I use all surrounding shields. So when I press this, I get now oh, 44 block for one. And it scales. Every time I use this sword, I will get more block from it. I also have a spike on there, which is some sort of possible alternate defense points I could get. But I also have this thing where every time I use my sword, it gets plus one damage for the rest of combat and that's pretty sick i also have this fun little ethereal wand that allows me to get three extra energy for each fight there's a lot of scalable and fun things that i hope i can take this far now i am scared of one thing i'm scared of poison i am weak to poison because block does not block poison so i need something that removes status effects from myself i'm not really hunting for money i'm also kind of hunting for some more mana stones to buff up the ethereal wad even more, but that's like a weird work in progress. Hold on, let me just use these. I'm gonna go crazy. Assume I'm just gonna get enough damage to kill in one turn. There we go, got him. Well, that was easy. All these fights are just nice and easy. I'm not really trying to win max because it's easy. I'm saving my min max abilities for later when it'll actually matter. I have a very simple rule of thumb when it comes to this game. Min-max when it matters, and don't when it doesn't. I'm just gonna rush a shop right now. Because these fights are so easy that I don't really care about whether or not I'm min-max. There's no accomplishment in min-maxing in a fight that's this easy. I'd rather min-max when it's way harder and enjoy the satisfaction of doing it then. And also, I, yeah, see, I mean, you know, you can make like minor misplays and I just don't give a damn because you don't get punished for it. I got exact kill, didn't lose any HP. That's really all that matters. I was looking for this. Removes 100% of all status effects on self. Something I want to save for the future. I can just sell some random garbage at the shop. I mean, I doubt they'll have anything I want to buy, but sometimes I do. It's the rogue's mask. This can be used to give myself a dodge. I don't know if this works on poison. Yeah, let's see. I'm a little bit curious about whether or not this will work against poison. It might, but it also might not. And I could just run to this fight, use a key, and then carry on. Oh, and all I need to do is wipe out this bee. Easiest fight of my life. See ya. Uh, plus two mana. So, I now have 12 mana points, which could let me get four mana stones. Maybe it's finally time to get rid of the token of energy. So goodbye. And let's make some adjustments here. So I guess we're chilling. And it's scalable. If these become three out of threes, I could get five energy up in here. Next. How about I make my way towards the shop? Just gotta deal with this guy. So back to the whole min-maxing thing, right? I don't, I wanna save my min-maxing for when the stakes are actually high. Because if I'm min-maxing when there's low stakes, it's also going to make the high stakes moments become less high stakes because I would have already gone through the motions of min-maxing in a low stakes scenario. I'd rather keep it interesting, keep it intense, and look at that perfect block. Expertly calculated. What a coincidence, mostly. But yeah, I want to save it for the high stakes circumstances. I think that makes for a better video. And also, I don't want to spend the time on just low stakes min-maxing. It's just not fun at all. And yeah, you can see the enemies are gaining in damage. 13, 13, 16. That would have dealt a little bit of damage to me on turn one, but well, it doesn't matter because he's dead and these are just going to flee. But if they were to attack me now, I now have 87 block. I've doubled my block in the time for that it took for them to get three extra damage. Two extra damage. And what lies in here? Probably nothing. Yeah, yeah, I need to look for anti-poison and more energy. How about the chest here? And let me show you how I can also win without even attacking even once. 
I did this before and I'll do it again. It's a little bit slower and longer, so there's gonna be parts cut out, but I mean, it's, it's simple enough that it'll just be pretty obvious. Thing is, this is almost a beefier scale because here, you get 96 block and I have three spikes. So when they attack into me, they get hit for three. And my three gets reduced to two. But now I have eight energy, so now I'm gonna get eight more spikes. And that's gonna build pretty quick and they're just gonna attack themselves to death. Now, the perfect strat is to start with the Fox Sword to buff up the amount of block I get from spikes and then build a hell of a wall with spikes and, or build a hell of a wall of block and then kill them with spikes, but it's fun to change it up. What can I say? And you can see their days are numbered. I didn't realize, but the fast animations got turned off somehow. Uh, regardless, we're now speeding up. I've got 70, 80 spikes. <laughs> yeah, try to get through that. Why were they hitting themselves? I'll never know. Another huge mana stone. So if I was able to free up two spaces on the board, I could get another energy. Oh, right, I have this cleansing flame. I forgot I had it. I'm gonna sell this at a shop. This thing isn't even useful to me. I mean, same with Tusk. Both of these can kind of just go. So you know what? I'll just take this and look to get rid of the relics that honestly don't help me that much anymore. I'll even get going on that right now. Nice. This is where shit's gonna go down, I'm sure. So yeah, Cleansing Flame does not help my particular build. This just takes up space. I would gladly prefer that this is spent with a mana. And let's go to fixing up this mana situation. I can't quite make seven extra energy in a turn, but I can make six. Carry on to the fight. Oh, a perfect lethal. That's what I'm talking about. What the hell is this? Accessory rats don't eat flies? What the hell does that mean? Also, this mana stone will make it so I get seven energy. About to sacrifice two spaces for it. The hell is the point of this tasty fly? It's so curious that if this were a normal run, I would love to keep it, but it just doesn't make sense to have a space for it. It just doesn't fit. Here. Yeah, take, whoa. Whoa, tasty fly, give me. Oh, stuff's cheaper here. Well, too bad I don't care about price or any of these things. You know, I'm pretty sure Rogue's Mask does not dodge poison, but Cleansing Potion fixes poison, so I'm gonna take that instead. Because I'm pretty sure I've thrown like a poison potion onto enemies with dodge and the poison, poison applied to them. And in other similar games, like their logic would have it that dodge does not dodge poison. Ooh, ooh, shield weapon or something eats. If I get the legendary shield, I will be so happy. And? No, just the big shield. This is a really good shield, but it's, it's too fat. So no, I'm not going to take a big thing. Worth a shot though. There were two shields that would have been awesome. I'm feeling pretty good about this whole thing. Yeah, you won't hurt me, chicken man. And slowly build up a hell of an arsenal. He's got scaling damage with rage. Don't think I care. If I ever truly get scared, I can just block twice, but no, my block skill is faster than his damage. So, I guess I never said this out loud, but I feel like Gemstone Heart, if you were to heal, but you're already at max HP, it just gets converted to block instead, which is extremely generous. Oh, I could've, no, I couldn't have killed. That, that's extremely generous. I'm surprised they do that, but I don't, I don't mind it. All consumables get plus three rage or bonus healing or one energy a turn. I don't think any of these are space efficient. Unless if I want to do away with the pearl. To be honest, I think I could do away with the pearl. Of course, I'll have to still get rid of something else. I think that something might be a large mana stone though. So why get rid of the pearl in favor of one energy? Because I'm not playing to kill things as fast as possible. I'm playing to have maximum consistency. I think it's fine to just get this out of the 
way right away. All I need is two more three out of three mana stones, and then I'll have seven mana, which is the max I can do. So I'll try it like this. It, it's a really weird way to think about it. I'm even struggling to put it into words. Well, this is useless. Floor 13 time. Who's ready for floor 13? Now I'm going to be terrible against the anything that makes a curse. Bat, vampirism, I don't care about. So hit, 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 block. So, I mean, the idea is more mana means more procs of the sword. Which means more block. And if I get a second gemstone heart, it also means I can heal past any poison. So actually, he's hitting me with poison. So I guess I just attack again. So poison goes off, yes, through armor. So that's why I brought the cleansing potion. I don't know how good of an idea this is, but now I start healing up like crazy again. And I didn't actually expect poison enemies to be this soon. And the thing is, with scaling damage, sure, I, I get off to a little bit of a slower start, but eventually the damage gets there anyway. But, I mean, it is slower, which could be a bad thing. But I'm going to wipe him out this turn. I deal 44 per shot. That's very solid damage. I have a ton of mana to work with it. And how about I go to the shop next? Another easy fight for me. Easy. Ah, uh, it's just the large mana stone. Shop's coming up, so... Sell some garbage. There you go. You have nothing for me. Unless I want to do this anglerfish. Oh, I, I think I want this cleansing potion. I'll take all the cleansing potions I can. Floor 14. I mean, I just got badgers. These guys are going to make me block twice in the first turn, but besides that, it should just be business as usual. And they're done for. Only took a few turns. What about towards the shop? Oh, a bunch of curse enemies? Gross. Curse enemies are always tough because their curses, if I neglect them, will deal damage through armor. Jason diagonal weapons get plus one poison to self. Okay, it's a small curse. I only lose one energy. It doesn't even hurt me. But this one, this one's a little bigger. This one I can skip. 18 damage It's fine. I'll just heal past it. I believe I can block once and be fine. And eh, maybe I should block twice. Yeah, block twice. Save a little HP here. You know, build up spikes as if that matters. Oh, you're summoning a summoning another dude? No, I don't think so. Got him. And then start working on this. I mean, this fight's a little bit more interactive, that's for sure. I've got stuff I gotta play around. I mean, I guess I could take the curse. I lose on two energy. This is fine. I still just block in the beginning. And then one spikes does not concern me. At all. The only downside is just, yeah, way less energy. But I think I'll kill here? Oh, no, I don't. Okay. Crap. Oh, it's just a curse of poison. Okay, I can put this here. It's fine. One energy loss matters less and less as the fight goes on because I get way more attack damage to outscale it. What? I got poisoned. Oh, each turn add three poison to self. That's definitely a different one from what I thought. Uh, good news is I still heal all the way back to full. Too bad I don't kill here, huh? Hmm. Awkward. Alright, well, I'll heal the full eventually. Next fight. When an adjacent weapon is used, remove one poison from self. Oh, that's pretty good. That's really good, actually. Oh, f This does not get destroyed. Oh, that is awkward. I need to read these damn curses better. I am going to take a cleansing rag. And you know what? I'll get rid of a cleansing potion then. Can I sell a curse at a shop? Would you like to buy it? No, okay. What is a great deal? <laughs> you won't regret it. Let's carry on. This just might be easy. 
Oh, this guy does create a curse. So it's not going to be a super easy fight. Let's see what... Oh, it's a big curse. I'll just... Uh, I'll just take 20. I'll heal it back. And now he's going to attack. I would rather he attack than drop me a curse. But I think I'm fine either way. What does this do? Diagonal weapons get plus one vampirism. That's more healing. You know what? I'm going to be bold here. Let's let's take that. I'm going to get rid of a cleansing potion just so I can finance it uh, space-wise. So yeah, now this will heal me back HP, which is also good against poison. If I just get enough healing on my weapon, poison it becomes no longer a concern to me. By all means, this is awesome. Yeah, look at this. Healing by two each shot. And now your curses don't concern me either. Because I can just keep skipping them and keep healing up. This is great. Am I going to make it back to full? No, but I'm very close. I think I will after this turn. Hot damn. This is a sick build. I absolutely love this. These do not interest me, and that's okay. Another Repsecutioner. Oh, does Vampirism trigger spikes? It does. Uh, that does make it a bit more nasty. <laughs> I, I guess I accidentally made it a little harder for myself, but only a little bit. This is fine. 15, so I only take 30 to spikes? That's fine. Still gonna win, but again, I'm gonna have to think a little harder here. Because it doesn't add more spikes. Because it, it doesn't take damage, it leeches the life out of them, which I guess this game considers to be different. But I do take double spikes. I mean, that's nothing to be scoffed at. That's kind of brutal, not gonna lie. Boom. Boom. And boom. Nice. And nothing here interests me. How about the shop? Anything? This is something I wanted to try another time. When my turn ends, remove all block on self, but gain a dodge. Sounds fun. Let's carry on. Floor 15 time. It's been a while since I faced the boss. Let's see if I face a spikes lad. I likely should be. Nope. Badger boss. Well, this should be fun. I don't remember what sort of weird stuff he does. He's gonna summon goons. I don't remember if any of them will add curses or spikes or poison. No, I think they're just dudes. I can even ignore that dude. And slowly build up decent damage to actually affect the badger boss. Yeah, just ignore his summons. You know, I'm gonna big dick this. I'm gonna just take his damage. I don't care. I'm gonna heal it all back anyway. And I believe one mana blocks all this. <laughs> 167. Oh, man. Yeah, I hard counter the Badger boss. You're, you're gonna need a few more minions there, buddy. And this off the block. I deal 106 per shot. Yeah, it is done pretty soon. I'm over a thousand damage a turn, or at least approaching it. 221 block for one. Oh, a letter. Uh, no. Alright, but I have to remember to block. If I don't remember to block, or if I misclick my block, I do kind of instantly lose. Actually, it's not true. Pressing, like, this block by accident would keep me alive. But I do win this turn. Hot damn, I destroy. destroy. I love scaling. Oh, can I kill you too? Actually, let me just make sure nothing stupid happens. I'm gonna press block, even though I know these will flee. Sometimes I misremember things, so I just want to be safe. None of these are worth the space. So I will carry on. I love turning down relics. Makes me feel powerful and shit. Floor 16. There's a lot of poison and, and curses in here, right? Okay, this is going to hurt like a bitch. The snake with its poison and the geck with its curses. Oh god, that's, that's a nasty combo, let me tell ya. I mean, good thing I got this cleansing potion. That's gonna have to save my ass. And we'll see if my healing can get me outside of the range of the snake's poison. 
Now, actually, to preserve my HP, I have to block twice. Oh, good God, this is terrifying. 25 poison and a curse. Good God. I still have to block once this turn because I have a lot of burn on me. So actually, let me just do it now before I forget. And just build up my damage slowly but surely. But yeah, that poison add to me is gonna be brutal. Oh, and so is this curse. If I skip it, it's 24 damage. Oh, this fight is terrifying then. Am I gonna have to super min-max this fight? So, if I want to not lose any energy, I could yeet the mana stones and completely fuck over my future turns. Or I could get rid of the energy, and by turns I guess I mean fights. Or I could get rid of these ethereal energies and make it harder for me this fight and then fuck over my... Or make my future fights better. Or I could split it down the middle and swap out this windmill to make this fight still manageable, easier than removing two energy, but also making future fights just a touch harder? But actually, that's not true. Because then because I'll have the windmill gone, I could maybe get rid of the Curse of Weakness, and then if I just add in another large mana stone, and this cleansing potion is gone, which I assume it will be after this fight, I'll be getting seven mana again, so I actually won't be fucking over future fights. Or... I could get rid of this shield. This shield does not scale. It only adds eight block. Yet yeah, how often am I eight block short from doing something? I'm never eight block short. I'm always bragging about how big my block is, how overkill my block is. Why not just get rid of the shield? Yeah, this is perfect actually. Now I could even better scale. I could add another mana stone. This is the play. This is the play. Let's run it. Of course, if I'm eight blocks short, that's gonna be kind of brutal, but I don't think I will be. So let's see how bad this poison is. I mean, I feel heal effectively three which eat with each attack, but I don't know if I block everything. Take 20, 48, 71. Do I block 71? Oh yeah, I do. Bam. How about I actually give them the curse next turn? Because they get 10 regen. One week is not a big deal for me. It's just one fewer attack. And I only get 15 from poison damage. That's not terrible. Oh, but it's only going to get worse. Let's hit you a few times. By few, I mean nine. I still am going to need to block once because I have 42 burn. So actually, I should do this before I forget. So I have the block. Am I... Well, I have to get rid of this curse, so I'll just send it now. It doesn't get rid of the weak. You know, the weak was there since the beginning of the turn. But now they have regen. So now I'm going to have 31 poison? That's actually not too bad. 31 poison is manageable, and I'm ready to receive his next curse. So. Oh, this is different. Slow and rage. Well, it's still fine, actually. Can I take it? Slow just reduces my block by one. When am I going to be missing out on one block. I don't think I ever will. The poison still scares me, though. It does. But I keep zapping away. I'm in the positives again, and I haven't even had to use cleansing potion. Oh, the snake's gonna die. Snake's just gone. Ooh, that's big. Let me do it now. 131. That should be fine. 40. 1 plus 29 is 70. Yeah, I will live. It's just the poison that scares me, but that's going away every turn. I don't need to give him rage. I will get rid of this at the end of combat. I don't want to be stuck with it. God, this is looking good, though. Okay, again, I do need to block once, so let's do it. And also, I should just do this now. Enjoy your rage, buddy. I can outheal the poison. I can outheal the poison. I'm slowly sucking it out of my veins. And I haven't even had to use Cleansing Potion. This is incredible. Um, I do have to take this curse. <laughs> I exactly die if I don't. Okay, how much... Do I kill him here? I believe I do. I do, so I can just use this right now. I win on the spot. Holy crap! That was the hardest fight yet. So now... I'm just on the hunt for a 2 out of 2 mana stone. 
Why don't I take a little bit of max HP? Oh, this is scary though. If I get that fight again... Oh god, it's that fight again. But you know what? I still have my cleansing potion and I'm gonna have a little bit of time to heal. So I don't know. This is gonna be very interesting. Yeah, curse is going right in here and I can't add more energy. Just keep targeting the snake. Play this like I did last time and I think I'll be fine. Oh, maybe I'll heal close to max. I'm fairly close to max. In fact, this is the exact amount of HP that I had at the start of the previous fight. So I am on equal footing. Still gotta take this. I only lose max HP. I'm still at 56 out of 56. Same position. Okay, let's get him. Let's win this. So always block. Always get rid of the curse. And then heal past. I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna be fine. Holy crap. Wow, this was my only weakness. And powering through this is life-changing. Is life-changing. This gives him regen. That's fine. In fact, I might as well give you regen. The sooner the better. Because it gives me more time to heal. But I don't think it matters. Unless if I want to just choose to heal right now. Wait, no. How do I choose to heal? I still do damage. Yeah, no, 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 I have to kill him. I don't know what I was thinking, because I take poison, and I can't <laughs> get more damage. No, this is great. I got through this. Another two out of two. So now, I should be able to make seven little energy dudes. But there's still another snake and fire geck fight. Are you kidding me? Okay, snake and ohm is not an easy fight either. In fact, I mean, the ohm is fine, but the snake is going to be hard. Thing is, though, I'm not going to have any curses, so that means I'm going to have plus seven energy from the wand, and it's all going to stay. But yeah, beautiful. Seven mana. So, whap them three times, and block once. Oh, nice. I take one. Oh, it's because I'm missing the eight block from that one shield. Oh, God. Calculations are off. Hopefully that one, that one damage is offset by the fact that I healed for three with my sword, so this is still correct. It's just a little strange. Okay, so again, I will only need to block once. And I heal pretty far. I Actually, I healed a max before receiving the poison. 27 is more than 25, which is what I got last time. But I have more energy. And let's get sucking. So, and I, yeah, more energy means I can suck better. Here, just block before I forget. And nice. It's already down to 16 poison. Poison is not long for this world. Another 27. That's perfectly manageable. I'm almost out of poison. It's almost gone. Yeah, this is way better than last time. Okay, so... I still think the Fire Gek and Snake fight is going to be very, very, very tough. They're probably going to deal more poison and the curses might be more brutal for all I know. Yeah, I'm not out of the woods at all with that fight. Here, I'm actually glad, though, that the Ohm has a lot of HP, because that lets me heal a ton more. And let's heal as far as I can. And then I just win. 46 out of 56, not bad. <gasps> oh, another Vampire Crystal! Okay, okay, this is huge. Does that mean I just yeet the gold? More Vampirism is insane, because that does apply to you. There's a shop, so I could spend my last bit of gold and then just never buy anything again? Let's see. Anything good here? Anything? I, I mean, I could buy a water flask. I think I might be parting with my money. I'm now at the stage of the game where it's just better to have a completely loaded backpack instead of money. <laughs> oh, isn't that something? Let's go kick some ass. I am not scared of you, Snake and Fire Gek. It is time. First, give me all the damn energy in the world. Give me a little bit of damage and debuff potions. And now a ton of energy. So here's a question. Will I be able to get away with just blocking once this time? I might be able to. I would only take 48. You know what? I could block once and then just heal it back. So yes, this is fine. Oh, I have 52. Never mind. I'm so nailing math today. So because of the runout 
First off, do I even need Cleansing Potion? Yeah, I might. But because of the run out, I might go for getting rid of two Ethereal Energies. It's greedy, but I could probably get away with it. Yeah, I think I can be greedy. Having two energy fewer is going to hurt. However, I'm going to make up, or I already made up for it by the fact that I started with four extra energy. So, let's see how this healing goes. Look at this. I'm probably going back to full this turn. And remember the block. Beautiful. I'm almost at full, only taking 17. This is just wonderful. This is so nice. Get rid of this dumb curse. Remember to block and just smoke him. Now, I'm not quite killing this turn, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm at full though. Dude, the build, you can't stop it. Is there any, I mean, surely they're gonna eventually get so powerful I lose, but that's still a bit of ways away. So just use it and suck the last Li little bit of HP out of him. Very nice. I think that's the scariest floor for me too. I'm, I'm gonna probably get a record. Ferret King and Badger Boss, final one before the real king. This one's actually gonna be kind of tough. They're gonna summon a lot of dudes, but I do get a bit of a head start since they don't attack for a while. Yeah, at least I get some free hits and get to slowly build up the amount I block for. So now I'm only getting hit for 64. I don't think I'll attack the cowardly ones. Since I'm fairly certain I can block through it. I should block, be able to block for 64, right? Uh, not much off. No, I'm over. Never mind. I forgot I get block with using this weapon. Now the badgers. Oh boy. That's scary. I, I need to kill one of the summoners first, and that one's going to be the Ferret King. What happens if there's more than four units on the screen? Like, I assume they'll just make room, right? Or am I just going to be forced out and taking damage because of some weird default rule? Let's see what happens. Oh! Yeah, where's that enemy you summoned? Hmm. Okay, so I shouldn't attack these because now they just have a wasted turn where... They summon an enemy. Some enemy I don't see. Just in case there is an invisible enemy, I'm gonna block twice. Um, just to be ready for it. What is this? When a shield is used, add one rage to this enemy. Oh. So it gets four rage every time I decide to block. That does not matter to me, actually. Yeah, this time I can get away with only blocking once. Get him. Summon your last pathetic enemy. Now, once I kill this, I assume there will be spot for the Badger Boss to summon enemies. You know, honestly, they should be squeezing in more enemies. Even though that would make it a lot harder for me, I think that'd just be very funny. Okay, if I kill this, I will only need to block once, so let's do it. Summon it. See if I care. And now I'll just take on the Badger Boss. Oh, and we're in heavy block once territory. I'm not f afraid of a damn thing anymore. These are not going to scale in attack damage either. Okay, I've knocked the badger boss down really low. What I'm curious about is, yeah, how much <laughs> block I could get for one energy. And that number was about 300. So if I spend a whole turn blocking, we're looking at a juicy 3,000, 4,000 block. Oh, I cap out. There's a max amount of block? You're telling me I hit the max? No, that cannot be. I wanted to scale like crazy. There's an artificial cap. They should uncap that. Um, I, I, I mean, there's really no reason to have a cap. Plus, it's more fun <laughs> if you can go to infinity. Yeah, you know, it's more fun if you manage to break it going to four digits. I mean, that's fine. I'm proud that I hit the cap, but how dare you actually cap me? Well, regardless, I'm excited to see how this fares against the final boss. But first, a little question mark. This is not useful to me. Now I am curious. Final boss of endless mode. What even happens after? 
Assuming I win. I mean, for all I know, he might eat me a billion curses and a thousand poison, and I might die, but... No, it's the king. So, on taking damage, he gains spikes and rage. Which means that I want to do a block-heavy play against him. But I'm going to have to do a ton more block than normal. I mean, if any of his HP can be above 15,000, then I should be allowed to have my own HP above 1,000. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. All right, free attack here. And then... One spike, so I get another free attack, basically. And now, double block. And then we'll start popping. Okay, so first block, and then... Just hit his spikes. Build up my own bucklers to be even better. Do one of these, keep building it up. And then final thing I will do is block. Already looking good. Now, I'm pretty sure I won't need to really care about these enemies. Oh, that is a lot, though. Ooh, that, that is kind of scary. And I block for how much? Only 54. So I need to end my turn with two blocks. Possibly more. Oh, his spikes are so brutal to my block. I will simply block three times here. Preserve all my damn HP. Deal a little bit more damage to him in spikes. This is fine. It's just a marathon. The first thousand is the hardest. It's just going to start getting easier, but they do have four dudes attacking me now, so... It might be tough. Maybe I block three times? No, two should still be enough. I block for a hundred. And block twice here. Yeah, just block twice. Soon my own spikes will catch kings, I'm sure of it. Oops. Nailed it. That was... That's how I lose this, by accidentally attacking into him before blocking. Cannot let muscle memory get the better of me here. I have to actually play intently. I mean, this is fine, just to fight for my damn HP back. You know what? Block twice. I'll do it again. Alright, just don't let muscle memory get the better of me. Do not let it... Oh, there's a curse. When my turn ends, this item gets destroyed. Okay, fine. Whatever, I'll lose one energy. I think I'll be okay. Uh, I don't know what to do about the blue slime. I feel like I just need to accept it. There's so many damn enemies. Maybe I should start getting rid of the minions at this point. Because <laughs> eventually their combined attack could be above 9999. Yeah, you know what? I'll take care of this guy first. I have enough block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just fight down these regular dudes. Get rid of you next. No more minions for you. Got him. No more minions for you, and especially not curse-making enemies. Oh, are you serious? No, okay, I do get rid of it. Nice. Okay, I'm going to be back to attacking him again this turn, but my own damage has gone up. Is he going to summon just a puny little minion? How cute. He's not long for this world. It is almost over. He summons two... Which, in normal circumstances, would be quite scary. If I didn't have infinite scaling damage. Okay, so I have way more rage than him. Is rage cap at 99? No, okay, it can go into 100. I have more rage than them, but less spikes. Noted. One more, and get him. Almost below half health. This is the highest damage I've ever seen on this weapon. It's so nice. 236, 237, 238, 240. And then this is my highest block ever. One energy gets me 417 block. It makes his spikes feel puny in comparison. You're weak. <laughs> what a pathetic puny little bitch. Get bitch stabbed. We're going to another round of endless. I've got to be careful here. Just don't choke it. I four-shot these dudes now, which means I five-shot you. And they're already gone. Your minions are useless. You're useless. 513 block for one energy. It's insane. Never have you ever seen that kind of block. At least I'd hope you haven't. If you haven't, you must have seen some crazy shit. Anyways, I think I win next turn. Ladies and gentlemen, my new best endless mode. And now we gotta figure out what the hell... 
I'm going to do with this video. Because we're, we're going for another round of this. And you're joining me. Here, can I wipe you out too? No, just a little bit off. Final numbers, 342 damage. 186, 184, 186, and 2. So 186 times 3. That's a pretty big number. That's how much block I get in one turn. I mean, wow. I mean, wow. All shields get this effect applied on use. This item gets plus two spikes to self this turn. We're going for another round. We're going for another video. The build is going to change. Every shield is just going to give me so many more spikes. Well, that is going to be exciting to try out next time. Do I get another bout of endless mode? I assume so, right? Continue. What does this even look like? Yeah, floor 19. I will be picking it up with insane spike numbers next time. I hope you guys are all excited because this is just going to get even wilder. The only way it's not getting another episode is if it doesn't go far. So stay tuned. Have a wonderful day and peace.